Hello everyone, Saxophone Horse here, and today we're doing a four for McDorfer in the world of Fallout New Vegas. Ah, yes. Fallout New Vegas, four for McDorfer. Ball arms are on their way to take a sweet robot dump. So, got four mods for the price of fun. Let's get started. First off is the more beard and mustache styles. This includes 12 new styles of mustaches and beards. So, pretty cool. Uh, this uses all vanilla content. So, uh, just you know, reconfigured and such, so you can uh, impress whoever you need to impress with your facial hair. So, pretty nice mod. I, uh, I like this one. Nice little addition, especially if you uh, want to add some variety with your character. Nice little addition for that. So sweet. Uh, next up is the ghillie suit. Uh, this comes with two weapons as well. Uh, this uh, The ghillie suit contains a hood, mask, suit, and a backpack for all your ghillie suit needs when you're trying to go to the grocery store but you don't want your friends to see you. It's perfect. Um, the uh, two uh, rifles that are added with this are the M14 sniper rifle, which is a pretty sly looking sniper rifle if I do say so myself. Very nice, uh, just good looking on all fronts, mesh and texture, very nice. I like this baby. Uh, this is a port actually, the uh, mod author did state. And the other rifle is the M81A1 Barrett rifle. Uh, this one's a little bit more rough. The texture um, is a little low res as you can see here, but a uh, very powerful weapon though. I, it will shoot anyone's face off twice. It'll shoot their regular face off and then the face of their ghost will also be blown off. And if you do it perfect, the, their father's ghost's head. It's very complicated. And last but not least is the Alien Isolation Maintenance Jack and Ellen Suit. This is beautiful. Once again, I, I love these Alien Isolation mods. Uh, so this is only for female characters, so Janet's going to be strutting this little baby around. Uh, beautiful uh, mesh and texture for this, all custom. Lots of detail on this. And the Maintenance Jack, uh, pretty sweet too. Very, a uh, lot of detail. The, uh, you know, the reflection maps and all that, very nice, and uh, a lot of detail on this, and pretty nice melee weapon, you know? I, we've got a few melee weapons recently that are all pretty top-notch, so good times, fun times. And last but not least is Koito Ergo Sum. I hope that's the way it's pronounced. If it isn't, whoops. Uh, this is an adult mod, so there will be some adult content a uh, in this and this is very long as well i'm actually recording this intro um kind of three-fourths into the mod um so i don't know i don't even know if i'm going to finish this it's going to be broken up throughout the weekend because it's that long i don't know it's just a huge mod a lot of stuff but like i said adult mods so there's some parts i have blocked out the uh the nudie parts so no worries but just a forewarning uh different type of mod and uh, yeah, so let's get started. All right, everyone. So uh, we are um, we're over here. I'm gonna walk there. We might cut a little bit, but I, I do want to kind of try to use these weapons because I'm pretty sure this is not a very combat-intensive mod. So yeah, we uh, this is our only chance to test these babies out. Um, so uh, we're gonna run to some Casadors and some other people. And, uh, yeah, should be good time, fun time, great time, but out of time. The Kaiser oh is my you for death, and the Legion obeys. Well, I guess this is, uh, this is what we needed, so. Oh, God, should Whoa, we be running? Careful. He has a really powerful sniper rifle. Retribution. You show him, Janet. You hit him with that tiny baby wrench. Well, hot damn. Hmm. My, my, my gun. My banana gun's doing real good. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry you didn't get to use your sweet wrench. I got one too. It's very nice, I know. I'm sorry. Not sorry at all. Not sorry. Jerry, I'm completely not sorry. I didn't give you guys any weapons. I gave you guys wrenches. Where's the ball arm? Oh, is that right there? Alrighty. Well, we, uh... This is a... This is a death beacon. My 50 cal. Murder everybody with that. I guess we'll take some Cazadors out with this baby. Oh my god. Uh. There we go. We go. Oh, Jesus! Holy sh... <laughs> what? How did... That guy came flying around. 
Look at Mall Arms, just like, no, are we almost there? <laughs> it sure is hard walking with these stubby legs. <laughs> All right, we're uh, passing around the bend, straight down, straight down around the bend. Oh dear. So this is a new area, and uh, there she blows. Quite possibly, literally. I'm sure someone inside of there. It's gonna get dark. It's gonna get dark. Well, not really dark, actually. It's gonna get spicy. It's gonna get steamy. That's that's the correct wordage. Lollipops, lollipops, ooh, lollipops, lollipops. Oh, can we go up here? All right, I'm gonna. I want to go up here before we go in there. Oh wait, we can't go in there. This is a tease. You whores, literally. You hussies. All right, time to meet the boys and girls inside of Lollipops. Lollipops Saloon. Morning, afternoon, whatever. Hey, Hilly. Welcome to Lollipops. You just found yourself the world's premier adult entertainment company. My, my, by adult entertainment, you mean prostitutes, right? Shouldn't premiere... Anything beyond the strip, not the ass end of nowhere? I'm a douchebag. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Prostitutes. Much more than that, friend. Strip clubs, dirty magazines, skin flicks, holla games, lingerie, sex toys. If it'd get you horny, lollipops made it. Coloring books. Pez dispensers? Shouldn't premiere anything beyond the strip, not the ass end of nowhere? Was a time whoring was illegal, except overseas and parts of Nevada outside the big cities. If you wanted to gamble and watch showgirls swing the titties at you, you went to the strip. If you was looking for real action, the ass end of nowhere was where it was at. Looks like you're screwed then. Location is everything and yours sucks. You're living in the past. Prostitutes are everywhere and that other stuff is long gone. Ain't necessarily so. Golden Globes has been making skin flicks up in New Reno for years, but Lollipops was the original. You put this logo on it, gives it a certain... What's the word? Penis? Je ne sais quoi? Uh, I think the term you're struggling with is class. Je ne sais quoi? Nope, that ain't it. It's more like... I don't know what. Well, I said penis first, so I'm gonna go with that one. That's it. Good. Now, feast your oh, eyes God. on this. You just gave me a, a, Moira, a Moira porn magazine? A porno magazine, so... Look at the date. That's less than five years ago. Fellow what gimme that said it was Larry Slater himself published it, with some help from a vault dweller. Well, that part's bullshit, but if somebody else can do it, I reckon I can too. I got a better claim to the name anyway. Alright, so there is a prequel um, to this mod in Fallout 3, uh, which we have not played. So uh, they're probably going to reference the original Fallout 3. A few times, I'd imagine. You think magazines and video will bring customers out here? You might get more business if you had better staff. Here's the thought. People want to tell the bartender their troubles, not the other way around. Um, you think magazines and video will bring customers out here? Maybe some, but you're missing the big picture. Slater started off with nightclubs, but Lollipop's magazine made him rich, and the vidges made him richer in the devil. You might get more business if you had better staff. Couldn't hurt. There ain't much we can offer you can't get easier and safer in town. They got women, they got men, you want something squishier, they got ghouls, you ugh. want something stiffer, they got sex bots. Double ugh. Here's a thought, people, blah blah blah, bartender. I ain't this chatty with every yokel wanders in here. I could use a mover and shaker to help get the business back on its feet. You got to look. So, um, I will say the voice acting is superb. Uh, very nice voice acting. Um, you always forget about it, like, if it's, <laughs> only if it's bad, you mention things, but, uh, yeah, voice acting is, is pretty fantastic. I'm thinking this place needs new management to clear the deadwood. Tough talk don't rile me none, but think on this. I've been living in a ranch full of liquor, cams, and women long as I can remember. My neighbors has been fiends and vipers and cons and whatnot, and I'm still living. In a ranch still full of liquor, chems, and women. Down by the river. Read into that what you will. By the river. Movers and shakers don't come cheap. I'm sorry I asked. I want no part of this stuff. Uh, movers and shakers don't come cheap. I reckon not. You get what you pay for. Finder's fee's 200 
250 she got more teeth and scars. All right, so we're finding hussies. Or if you want to cut, you can buy in. We split the profit by shares. 100 caps a share, but I ain't selling more than half my stake. I'll buy in, but only so I can make sure the workers are treated fairly. Um, fairly. Fairly. I'll work on commission until I decide whether I like it. I don't do piecework we're partners or forget it. We'll have, well, have fun with all that. I'm out of here. Um, I don't do piecework we're partners or forget it. That's what I'm going to do. Delivering packages seems like piecework to me, but whatever. How many shares you want? Give me all the shares. I'm going to buy you out. Welcome to the stock market. Your share of every day's draw will be in the safe behind the counter by the end of the night. Oh, awesome. All right, let's talk about the partnership. Let's talk about the mysterious stranger who gave you the magazine. Where you start making some money, what needs to be done. So this is a huge quest. I took a look at it, um, and the, it's pretty huge. Uh, so, uh, like, it's like a big dick. All right, great. I'm ready to start making some money. What needs done? Actually, let's do talk about the partnership. Sure thing. Uh, I want to trade shares. No. How often should I get my cut out of the safe? Eh, probably like every week, right? It don't matter. Leave your money or any other valuables in there. I'll make sure nobody touches them. That's not what I asked. But, all right, cool. Can I sell my shares to someone else? Non-transferable. I don't want some refugee or do-gooder buying in and then trying to tell me we need more of this or less of that. More penises or less penises. Enough about the partnership. Got any other business? Who knows what them whores is stealing while we're yapping? Probably like penises. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Let's talk about the mysterious stranger who gave you the magazine. He ain't mysterious. He's mental. Why do you think he's crazy? He walked here from D.C. His mama lived in a vault. He knows Larry Slater, and he's on a secret mission for the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh. If you believe all that, I got a damn for sale. Uh, couldn't he be telling the truth? It's all storybook stuff, and he got his stories crossed up some. See, Larry Slater run Lollipops back in the 21st. He built a vault for him and his cronies with shit he stole from Vault Tech, and the Federales hung him for it more than 200 years ago. Where can I find him? Hell if I know. He come in here like some hotshot from the head office expecting a handout, so I run him off. Before he left, he gave me that magazine, so I told him nobody's seen hiding her hair of the Brotherhood since the NCR whooped her ass. He might have got it in his head to ask them, which case they most likely shot his crazy ass as a spy. Enough about him. I reckon. Enough. Uh, I'm ready to start making some money when he's done. See them black boxes? Mm -hmm. Supposedly there's some kind of computer what shows dirty pictures. My god. Sounds like a bunch of hooey to me. Every terminal I ever seen was just a bunch of green words. But if you can get them working, I'll buy you a beer. Alright, calm down, Barney. Uh, what else needs done? Well, I reckon Mover and Shaker ought to be able to get something on them screens. If they ain't really computers, paint them. This is the part of the mod where you paint. See you later. Adios. Adios, amigo. I see you in a quinto minutos. Adios, amigo. And guess what? It's Mr. Slave. Dun dun dun. Hey, Mr. Slave, also known as Doug. <laughs> Cuddles, Cuddles, you getting some rubs there? Hey, where are you going? Hey, what's up? Nothing. Just would you stay at Lollipops if it changed owners? I guess so. I'd never willingly work. Um, what? All right. How about a quality control check? Why not? Meet me in the... Oh. Oh, okay. That's... Oh, no. No, we're not doing that. Sorry, Mr. Slave. Maybe later. I just remembered I have something else to do. <laughs> What's the... Ru no, no, I don't... I don't like penis. I'm sorry. All right. All right. These are the black boxes. Uh, control terminal not found. Connect Luma screen and controller to network. If network is connected, restart Luma screen. If ever persists, contact technical support. So, uh, obviously, this uh, mod is going to have some adult content. AKA naked people, maybe. I would imagine there'd be naked people. So, just a warning. Um, I mean, if there's like dicks just float, floating around, I'm gonna try to block them out. But, uh, you know, there's probably gonna be some times when there's gonna be free flying dicks and I won't have the time. Ball arms, this is no time for hugs. We're in a hussy house. No, seriously. Don't don't hug anyone. They'll try to charge you for it. What is it? Uh, this place needs a new owner, but Hilly will only sell half of his shares. I ain't sticking my neck out either way, if that's what you're asking. 
But if you go down that path, I'll warn you, he's a tough old cuss. I mean, I'll murder him. How did he become the owner in the first place? Before my time, when his story changes. He was born here, he cleared out a pack of raiders and took it over, he won it in a bet. Who knows? Touched a bunch of wieners. How'd, uh, how'd you come to work for him? I owed him. He said this was how I could pay it off. My god, and he made the payment stretch out forever, hmm? Nope. He's smarter than he lets on, but not as smart as he thinks he is. I paid him off. Eventually. But by that time, I didn't remember how to do anything else. Or feel inclined to learn anything new. So here I am. Enough about Hilly. That's what I was thinking. How about a quality control check? Ah, I know what that means now. I was thinking you could use a new outfit. You got that right. I'm gonna... Oh, wait, I can give you a... Uh... I'm gonna steal your room key and your sandals. I'm gonna give you... Nothing, cause I don't have... Oh wait, I'll give you a hat. This is super sexy. You're gonna look super sexy. There you go, everyone's gonna get super sexified. See you around. You're so sexy now, look at you. Everyone's got a sexy boner for you. Yeah, that's right, Steve's shaking your ass. Steve, you could work here. Steve, you could make more money than everyone here. Everyone, combined. Yeah, she's wearing my clothes, Janet. I mean, I got this ghillie suit, so... See, Janet knows. Janet knows that's sexy. A full-on, completely covering. Oh, I should have given it, given it to him. Oh God. All right. Um. All right. We gotta fix these thingy jiggies. Hey, oh good. Wardromatic XK. About wardromatic. Ultimate and theatrical wardrobe solutions. Wardromatic about puts. Virtually unlimited stage clothes at your fingertips in the floor space of a typical vending machine. Choose from thousands of period and contemporary templates or let your costume designers create their own advanced miniaturized robotics and recyclable planet friendly fibers and dyes deliver the right look on time every time. Okay. Ooh, shapeshifter. Alright, so you can change your body, I'm guessing. I don't know my size. I want some headwear, black leather cap, I want some tops, I need a vest, bottoms, get some, uh, give me a bath, give me a bath towel, give me a, a, a neckerchief, a handkerchief, a neckerchief, uh, is that, was that what, what's his name, Fred wears, is that what Fred wears on Scooby Doo? A neckerchief? No, that's not what it's called. It's got another name. Alright. Management Terminal. Email Hilly. Great party. Hey, buddy, just want to drop a note and say thanks. You always throw a great party, but I might not be back out that way for a while. Nothing against Debbie, but let me know when you get some variety back on the menu. Email a chest breach. Oh, no one loved me. Financial records. Pros working, too. Okay, so basically we have to, we have to hire people, I'm guessing. Let's put on, let me put, I, I know how to hire people. I'll put on my sweet bath towel and my neckerchief. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I just do the rest of the mod like this. <laughs> Jerry's wearing the, uh, uh, the, uh, the other armor, so we'll see that. All right, I guess we'll start in the basement and work our way up. Um... Okay. Oh, is that a penis over there? <laughs> I think that is. <laughs> the Luma screams appear to be connected to this controller terminal through this box. Press reset button. Unplug it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, let's go. Uh, let's check if the, uh, the Luma boxes are working. Yeah, alright, there we go. Activate Luma screen. Alright, cool. Yeah, awesome. Hey, Hilly, guess what? Well, if it ain't my favorite mover and shaker. I got them talky pictures working, except they don't talk or move, they're just pictures. So, a scene. They sure is pretty. Have a beer on me. Thanks, Barney, from Half-Life. What's up with the freak show in the basement? Squatters, come in with that fella what give me the magazine. Purdy one said they was whores, wanted to stick around. Basement whores? Ain't done much whoring, no. Must have found something real interesting on that terminal. Rat whores. Want me to get rid of them? I can murder them real good. I cannot. They ain't doing no harm. You never know when they'll get a customer. 
Though after the last one, maybe not. Why not? Last one. Fella come in all depressed about somebody or other got killed in the war. Probably figured Casadores had put him out of his misery, but here he was. Had him a little chat with our girl, paid up, and she sicked that big boy on him. Fucked that man to what? death. Shot blood and died. <laughs> no! Oh, God. <laughs> That's both disgusting and extremely unlikely. God's truth. Oh, Busted no. him up inside, oh, I reckon. No. Good thing Debbie knows her way around a mop and bucket. Uh, any idea what she's looking for? Nope. Nosed around the basement some, then she saw the terminal, told her friend she was staying. He got weepy for a bit. Then he unlocked that big door, went through, and locked it behind him. Just as well, I reckon. Yeah, because someone would fuck him to death if he didn't leave. I thought you said you ran him off. He ain't come back, has he? So where does the door go? Couldn't tell you, but they say Larry Slater had a tube train took him straight to any lollipops in the world, even Asia. But that's bullshit. I bet we're, I hope That we one had to, to be an elevator. Funny how time can twist a story. <laughs> you want me to tell people we're hiring? Not people. Hookers. Right, sorry. I get them confused sometimes. What about strippers? Thought I explained that. Customers ain't gonna leave the safe little strip and mosey on out here just to see some titties. Of course, now that you mention it, if them whores would get on stage and shake the ass when he ain't got a customer, might liven the place up some. Hookers are people, Hilly. Maybe that's your problem. Do you say so? I mean, hussies are not people, though. Okay, I'll see you about recruiting some hookers. Here's some help wanted posters <laughs> I printed up a while back. Damn things get tore down fast as you put them up, but paper's cheap. Yeah, I was watching this Al Chesbridge video and he said hookers are people. And then it, it was pretty insane. How do we go about publishing a magazine? Ain't nothing to it. Convince somebody to get naked, take pictures, scan the film into the terminal, set the layout, and hit print. That's far Machines too do the hard work, That's then all you gotta do is sell them. I don't have a camera. Why don't you take this and... Thanks. Takes good pictures and folds up real small so you can sneak it in places where you ain't supposed to. Like a, um, uh, like a bank? Ah, crap, that's not what he meant. Where can I do a photo shoot? I was thinking you'd just charm their pants off and snap away. Uh. But now that you mention it, some of them might get sexier if they ain't worried their neighbors is peeking. I mean, I'm only good at killing. Storage room would make a good studio. Fact, it used to be one. What? I'll get it cleaned out and presentable. All right. Once I have pictures, how do I print a magazine? Big gizmo, bottom of the elevator. Terminal offloads pictures from your camera, lets you put in your editorials, interviews, articles, and whatnot. I can't read. Then you just set the layout and hit the print button. Uh, why is there a printing press in the basement of a brothel? When Lollipops first started doing hardcore, a bunch of do-gooders tried to shut them down. Said fucking for money was whoring, even if you film it. Went all the way to the Supreme Court, but Larry Slater hedged his bets meantime. Put a studio and print shop where whoring was legal. I'm going to eat a pretzel because there's so much stuff he's going to say. Why does a porno magazine need interviews and editorials? So prissy folk can claim they just read it for the articles. Honey won't let them buy a folder full of dirty pictures. You sell more that way. How do I get the layout? How do I set the layout? Couldn't the computer just arrange content so I don't have to do anything? Lollipop's magazine had a formula. I reckon it'll do us just fine. You're a madman. The cover girl should have a hook. A somebody hook? famous you never thought you'd see naked. Uh -oh. Or somebody real exotic. Uh, like a bear? Called the pictures up front the foreplay pictorial. She was always the prettiest one. Get them warmed up. Pictures in back was the big finish. Them girls were so sleazy you could smell it. Get your rocks off every time. All right. Enough about production. I told you. There's nothing to it. Except for all those things. All right, let me know when the studio's ready. You betcha. You betcha. I have some more questions about publishing. No, I don't. Making hollow vids. All right, Jesus Christ. There is a ton of stuff in this mod. Like I said, this is an enormous mod. Um, and, I mean, it seems very well produced, too. Um, find out what the handler is looking for. Hire Cody to replace any flyers that are removed. Distribute 50 help wanted flyers. I don't know how we do that. Wait for the studio to be prepared. All right. Find out what the handler is looking for. Alright, I'm guessing the handler is the lady downstairs. Or the guy or whatever. That's a penis! <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh, I just got
gotta turn all these lights on just in case. Just in case the lights go off. <laughs> oh, yep. Alright, great. There we go, everyone. Oh my god. 